for others is like little kind of, I call them niggles, like little injury-ish kind of aches. They're not aches or pains, but they're just things that you start to notice um, with your training or maybe starting to come up now. And, um, and you might notice them while you're like just starting your run or the long run and you're like, oh, there's my ankle, oh, there's my knee. And then it kind of just goes into different parts of your bodies. And um, it, as, you, as, you, as you cover the 16 miles of ground probably yesterday, you probably had a lot of different things that you noticed. And with that is like, so what, what do you do when you start noticing those things? So one of the, the things someone had, um, a physical therapist in town had shared with me when I've gotten injured or had just like a little thing that kind of niggle brought to my attention. Um, he always just said, he said, how does it feel after you run? And he said, if it's worse after you run, then you need to cool it a little bit because it's clear that the running is making it more inflamed or whatever it is that's going on. Um, but that being said, obviously you're on a mission to do something and you want to make it to the big part. It's like sometimes not even the finish line, it's making it to the start line as you start to notice these things come up. Um, so a couple of key things with that is making sure to do some like rolling out with a foam roller after your long runs and as painful as it is to inflict that on yourself, doing it after um, a long run on Saturdays. And just like whenever you have any little downtime where you're sitting on the couch watching TV, it's just like, okay, what can I do? It's like take out, a, if, do you guys not have, anyone have foam rollers? Um, they sell them at various places in town and I know Prevail down on, um, it's a gym down on Haley and Santa Barbara Street. They have foam rollers there. They're like 15, 20, 30 bucks or something like that. And just rolling out especially like IT band all the way up your, all like all the way along this and, um, and your quadriceps because what's, a lot of times we get like some people, I know John, you mentioned something I think with your knee. Like, the yeah, and then Jill was like after the run, she was like, she's like achy, it's not like anything's wrong, but you have so many attachments at your quad to your knees that when you're putting in these long miles, you need to like, work some of that stuff out. There's a lot of inflammation that's coming up as you're running. Um, so that's one thing. And the second thing is, and as crazy as this might sound, is after your long runs, be really fun team exercise to go jump your legs in the ocean and ice them. So bring a sweatshirt, bring a hat, and like wrap it around your waist and just like waist deep in the water for like 10 minutes. Now is the perfect time because the water temperature is slightly bearable <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh, you guys, but it's a per it you have a perfect long. ice bath right here yeah. in the pacific um <laughs> I did. something yeah. is my legs yeah. felt good but yeah. uh, i got up to my chest and my heart oh. didn't like oh, yeah. it. <laughs> so i started to like get dizzy and lightheaded so i got out yeah so up to the waist Step is good you know <laughs> <laughs> and i will legs. say you can do it in your bathtub just yes. turn your water to the coldest cold you don't have to even have ice and i swear by it uh, after marathon so mm -hmm. you know yeah um, so those two pieces just because like now is the time when you're getting in longer miles and your body might be talking to you a little bit more and um uh and just and also to reach out um i don't know if everyone has my i think my had my cell phone number on the top of the training sheet that we passed out at the beginning but um if you have questions or you're like i missed this or i don't know what i should do or i didn't get my long run in and or i missed the middle week this or i didn't get this in what should i do should i adjust should i move things around is reach out and ask because um Jason, who isn't here right now, he coaches people for, like he, he's my personal coach for triathlons. And when I have all those questions of like, hey, I missed this, should I adjust? Should I add it in at this point during the week? And sometimes the answer is no, just let it go and start over, start fresh with the new week. And sometimes the answer is yes, like put it in depending on how your body's feeling and all those kinds of things. So reaching out to either one of us to ask us those personal questions of, because everyone has different issues going on. Um, and then nutrition, the, Chrissy had asked me to talk a little bit about nutrition. So as the miles are getting longer, one key thing is if your run is long, is your, if your run is shorter than an hour and a half, you don't need to take any extra calories in. So 90 minutes or less, water's good. If it's after, if it's nine, more than 90 minutes, 
taking a gel, some sort of calories. If you don't like the gels, like something, the chomps, you, Santa Barbara Running and Racing and Hazards has tons of different options. You can sample their buffet of um, <laughs> different things that might sit well in your stomach and start, if you haven't started to do that, start to do it now so that you know what you can take in for the race and not have your digestive system be the one thing that causes you to not get to the finish line. Mm -hmm. Um, and you should be taking in once, of course, like the, the longer runs would be those, those times when you're doing that is every like 40, it could be any between 30 to 45 minutes taking in, um, calories. Cause you don't want to get to the point where you are actually depleted, um, and you're starting to get hungry cause that's when you've already gone, you've already gotten into a hole. So, um, I have brought like a box of goose for anyone that needs more, um, you can have some of those. So Adrian, yeah. are you saying start at 45 minutes in when yeah. you're doing a really long mm -hmm. run? Okay. Yeah. And if you know, like try that out and if you start to notice like you're starting to, you know, just like you pay attention to your energy while you're going through the long runs of, um, you might notice that you need it earlier than that because you start maybe at like an hour, you've already taken it at 45, but you're, you're starting to kind of like get a little, not necessarily muscular fatigue, but just sort of out of energy. And then every 45 minutes? Every, every 45 minutes, okay. yeah. Like when I race, I'll take stuff in every 30 minutes. And I'm taking in like 100 calories every 30 minutes just to make sure that I'm keeping things up instead of, you know, it's just like a gas tank. Like you don't want to get beyond the empty. <laughs> Can I ask your feeling on the ones with caffeine? Do it's personal preference. It's just yeah. personal preference. If you like it, if your stomach handles it, if, if it works for you, do it. If you don't, I mean, try it out. I just, I take, I take them based on the flavor. If they happen to have caffeine, it's like, okay. <laughs> and now don't have race to try it, not right. race day. Yeah, yeah right, don't exactly. have race day be the first time you try these, because some upset your stomach, some don't, some just play around and you'll find a brand. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that. I haven't, I haven't looked closely at them, but do they uh, provide a level of potassium as well? Or is there anything you recommend? Like a, for, for electrolytes? Potassium. Yeah. Potassium, just for cramping. Um, there's... Some have bananas. Yeah, the, 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 the um, yeah, again, like just try different things out. I'd suggest mixing up like water with whatever kind of electrolyte drink you're <coughs> taking in. Um, if you have like, you know, Gatorades, quote unquote, or whatever brand it is that you like. Um, and I don't know what they're carrying. I, I was going to say, have what they is posted the race? yet? Usually they'll post what their drink is going to serve on the course, which is key. Yeah. Because sometimes it's different than anything you've ever had, and it, it will mess up Same the stomach. Time. So you want to start using that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so when do you, um, when you're getting ready to go on a long run, mm -hmm. how soon before the run do you eat something, and what do you usually eat? Yeah, I would say, like, an, I try to have something... 45 minutes to an hour before a longer run mm -hmm. and I'll have like a piece of toast with almond butter. I'll have just cool. just enough to just have something in my system so that I'm not um, like over full and then you know you don't want to be burping up your breakfast for the first <laughs> 10 miles. It's not pleasant. But something that sits well. Toast or um, you know if you have like a bar that you like or friends of mine just even they take a goo like 30 minutes beforehand really love goo just you can go crazy <laughs> I do really like goo and if you, if you try if you try to eat beforehand like something else too is like a banana something that's like maybe between like the 100 and 200 calorie range just kind of like again get your your tank so that it's not starting on empty but if you don't if you know that you don't do well with something in your stomach beforehand is have a goo earlier in the beginning of your run mm -hmm. in that long run so like maybe 30 minutes into it then take a goo and you so that you're just not starting and having things rustling around in your stomach everyone's very has different sensitivities this, yeah. this came up yesterday, and I don't know if you agree with this, but um, Chrissy had to cut out, and I was like, from what I understand, if you're having a long run day, and you don't have time to fit it all in, in one run, mm -hmm. so she can run eight in the morning and eight that afternoon, yeah. and it still equals your 16 miler. So for those of you who are challenged with time, I'm I encourage you to get that, yeah. that in <laughs> that day. It still counts as your mileage. Yeah. 16 miles. What length of recovery in between? Like, can you do that at night and then do the morning? Do you know the actual time? I don't know if that in between. Um, I don't know if there's like a, an exact formula, yeah. but I would just say just separating them. Like, it, 
a good couple hours.